that's quite a lot of magic damage, and Griffin's extremely short range all in engage is getting perfectly. Considering a dive up in the top side, we'll see if Rascal can land this stun or if. Okay, he's gonna get the knockup first into the double knockup and jump shot, but it just does not matter as that whole wave is gonna be missed as a, a counter dive in the bottom side. The teleport is gonna come in and it's traded back by Gen G. So a one for one down seven. Obviously going to take a lot of that burst away. Tarzan gets here, but he's just a couple seconds late. If he got there a little bit earlier, he's actually going to go in for this one. Big equalizer on two, but the bottom lane fight is going to go the way of Genji. But a huge uh, slap of the heads together is going to move this back into Griffin's play. Although the teleport now from the Orn was looking good, but it actually gets interrupted by Hoya. Silas stealing the Orn horn, and now they're able to turn it back around. Turret. Uh, it's pretty nice to see from the Silas, but uh, that laning phase early on. We're just gonna go ahead and take the Mountain Drake away as it will be. Uh, it really does, yeah. When I looked at it, so uh, you know, perhaps in the future. But we do have some some League of Legends happening. Ira did have to flash away as he was taken here, but now we do have the Silas Horn coming on in. Irov looking for that engage, a really nice equalizer on top of the whole team. But it might not matter as life actually hits only his ultimate onto his, himself. But you can see fighting front to back now that the ultimates are down. Viper doesn't have any room to chip away, whereas Ruler and BDD is easily able to fight from the back there, chase them down. They've got good mobility, although Viper has been going a little bit on a ring around the rosy oh, here. As, oh, that okay, actually hit. Yeah, he flashed there. It's a little bit of a, a weird, uh, what do you call it, visual there. But he does pick up the kill with that stun as uh, that will be the win in the team fight as well as the first cloud drop. Some miraculous plays as the game does come along. At least Tarzan was Dragon, there. there's going to be another turret going down. The gold lead is going to extend even further. It's going to be a 6,000 gold advantage almost here. Camps back into the game. He's making some sort of a pickoff, winning some sort of a hero team fight, getting Baron, and then trying to get a sizable enough gold. Oh, life is just going to disappear as he desperately tries to get the Cosmic Radiance down. And now Gen G to say, we have Viper in a great spot here. Let's go for the 4v5, but he's gonna survive for quite a long time as the Rek'Sai ultimate looks like it hit Tarzan instead. They're still gonna win the fight, but not the cleanest one we've seen by any means as another two for one. It looks like actually two for two as life did go down earlier, but it could turn into a three for two as Tarzan looking to get executed here. Can he? Yes, he can, actually, but BDD says, that's not fair, that's not the way it was supposed to be. Let me just kill you, Cal, by myself. Dragon, while they have the Baron, and it, it's really looking like lights out for Griffin here in this game number one. Unfortunately, uh, you Cal definitely one of the more vocal members as, uh, well, looking for a kill, now a pick onto Hoya, just like that. Thinks he's safe, but there's a ward over the wall. Yeah, they're easily going to pick him off. They're going to send Clid over here to the Cloud Drake. And you mentioned all she wrote. I feel like uh, that might just be the case here, although they are going to go for one last attempt as Iro, he's got a really nice position right now on the flank. Will he choose to take it? He's just kind of chilling out. And he is not going to go for it. We'll just recall minions. Push in with the wave of bomb. Yeah, they're rotating down the bot lane. They actually get a lot more objectives this way. If they, if they stay around in mid, they lose out on the opportunity to raise the bot tier 2, or at least delay it considerably. And this way, if they can end up raising the bot tier 3, then they, they're they going to get both inhibitors off of a win anyway. Set's going to come in here. He's looking for a superplex. Yeah, it's a lot of pick damage already. Poke damage. BDD is going to survive somehow. Gets healed on the backside. And they don't have any more of their ultimates to use after that as Clit is going ham. He's going so deep into the back line. Uh, he's going to get the kill, but immediately goes down himself. Yukal getting low here. Rascal trying to front line and is going to do quite well on that. As now with the extra pick, trying to turn it around onto Ruler as Viper. He's trying to go and delay this game, but he is not going to be able to as he gets picked off. The same can be said here for Irobe as Genji will look to push and perhaps end this game. I, I think this is almost certainly going to be the end of the game. I mean, it's six seconds on Tarzan, but he doesn't have Dragon Kick available 
on his Lee Sin here as Hoya trying to do whatever he can to proxy the wave. Oh. Tarkov's mid comes out. Cosmic Radiance is going to be good, and that is indeed all she wrote. As will he go for the pick here onto Tarzan? Tarzan looking for the kill onto Light. He is not going to get it. GG is going to be the end of the game here at 25 minutes, 11 seconds. Yeah, that is absolutely the case, but I think it is going to be Yukal on the Lucian here. Hoya, oh, yeah, maybe just going on. By a flawless duet, you can see Tarzan is actually here. This is the exact timing. And I'm actually really surprised. Oh, he's got the slowdown. The flash comes in, but he's trying to survive. It's not going to be enough. Perfect timing on the gank. You know, it, it's it's not very often that we do get to see freezes. So that's one effort that uh, we do get to say here as, okay, Pop Blossom going to come in, trying to go both ways. That's a little bit confusing, but easily able to oh. turn it around. The Kingslayer, though, is going to help out so much for you, Cal. Trying to do that damage onto Clit. He is going to have enough. As Tarzan now on the chase, and the roam actually from Hoya is gonna come in and a double kill for Tarzan now. It's all the way it went, and they, they sent him on a bus out of the team house. They, yeah, not they a allowed Gary Silas is very strong. Vision. And they are going to go for the root first, saying that's the way they want to go for it. And uh, it does land Clid, though, stuck in here trying to bait Yukal into the fight. It does work out as they are able to garner his flash from that one. And you were talking about good timings to put down the Rift Herald. This is, a, this is about as perfect as it gets. Yeah. This is a pretty immaculate transition here. Life and Ruler, they were already able to rotate. They had the priority down in bot lane. Nice recall timer off. And, uh, well, Genji just got bailed out by Dragon RNG. <laughs> okay, you okay, finally well. went for it. There's no stun available, but we do have that ultimate out of the Aurelia, and that is going to be enough damage that comes down onto Hoya. Pushers lose to Aurelia at this stage of the game. There's just yeah. not a whole lot of options for them, and they're going to eventually just be reduced to shooting ash arrows and prey. Didn't catch me off guard this time. But, not, a, uh, not a big deal. Yeah, we, we got the collective. That's all we need. And... Uh, Looking to follow up and gauge here. The Devourer is down, and that is when they're going to go. Just craving down Iro as the face call is going to come in. Life is unsure about what to do. Decides, okay, I'll just back away from this one. Perhaps calling for Rascal to rotate from the top lane, but he never actually did. So ends up not mounting to too much. But now we're looking oh. for a follow up engage. But the Devourer is back up with a double stun by the Tark. is huge. They're going to get that Ash. And they're going to get Irobe in the back line as well. The Tarek ultimate keeping everybody safe and sound. And a clean three for zero. Probably going to be even more as the slow is going to come down onto Tarzan here. Nice little kick. And actually a flash. He's, I think he's going to get away with the Cloud Drake soul. As he's going to hop the wall here. Was considering queuing back to potentially get in there. Oh, he sticks around and then he just gets flashed on by BDD. No idea why he was sticking around there. There was no way they were going to turn that one. So essentially just gives another kill to BDD. Meanwhile, Ruler just hanging around in the mid lane. Going to take down another objective as Genji. Looks like they are uh, they should change their name to GG because that's what this game looks like right now. Uh, do the double TP is going to come in. And, well, they look like they are going to get life. BDD coming on in. Not sure if they really have to engage here. Really trying to force it, but they do have Rascal in the back line. But Yukal able to pick up the one kill, the stun. Not going to be enough. Life just barely separates yourself away from... Okay, not sure about this one. They're going really aggressive onto life. As the culling is going to come in, but okay. With the Ash Arrow, that is going to be the kill. So, you were talking about Hail Mary. Consider them to be in a position to really win anything right now. It's just going to spell disaster. It's very underappreciated yeah. because he's able to build these kind of items. He has the cripple the, uh, to the uh, opponent's attack speed and just overall mobility. Okay, Ash Arrow is going to come in. Great engage follow-up by Tarzan as life is going to bite the dust once again. Slow's coming down onto Ruler. Has to flash to get out of that one as finally we're talking about Ash Arrows in terms of engages the... Cloud Soul, obviously not the best soul in the game. It's actually here for Gen G still. We're gonna have another team fight. 
Yeah, they get the slow here onto Irove. He is a big boy at Tom Kent. Do they have the damage to chip away at him? Clid is going to go deep and pick it off. Nice Cataclysm into Stopwatch in the back line. And now with Rascal here. And the follow-up engage from Clid is just unbelievable. That is going to be the, the sweep right there. The ace comes in for Gen G. And they're going to win the game right now. Yeah, they're... This is it. This is absolutely how this game is going to end, and I can't believe it. Mostly because everything was just going so slow, and then for it to end like that, not over an objective, not over anything meaningful, but just because someone was up a little bit too far, and then this happened. It's all because of Sir Thomas' yes. catch. I think he was trying to bring him to the ship. No one wanted to go. Yeah.